Hello everybody, this is Brandon Stinton and I'm here to show you another Photoshop tutorial on how to fix double chins. Double chins can be an uh, atrocity in any photo. Um, if a camera gets you at the wrong angle, you're going to have that double chin that everyone dreads so much. So I'm going to show you how to um, fix that double chin in a picture on Photoshop. So what we want to do to get started is take the original image and we're going to make a copy. Um, you make a copy by pressing Command or Control J. And that is going to make a copy of the image. So then after we do that, we are going to take the lasso tool. Um, if the lasso tool is hidden, it could be one of the other ones. So you just hold the um, icon down with your mouse and press the lasso tool. So what we want to do is we're going to make a outline of the chin area. The chin area is the part that we're going to fix. Um, try to stay off of hair or other like clothing materials, but if you can't, I'll show you what we have to do to minimize the movement of the clothing material so it's, the image isn't too distorted with the lines lining up. So what we want to do now is now that we have our selection, we want to press Command or Control J, and that is going to make a um, copy of just the portion of the image that we selected. So with the new layer, um, the one with just the chin, we're going to press Command T. And that is going to basically bring up our selection. Um, if you go to the Move tool, that shows the Show Transform Controls. So that's the area that you can tell that's what we wanted. So with that selected, we are going to press Command T, like I said already. And then we are going to go right click the selection and press Warp. So warp, what warp does is basically it moves the pixels around to transform how you want them to be made. So to give you guys an idea, if we move this up and down, the chin's going to start to move. Um, the problem with it right now is, though, that we have this these little icons up at the top by the warp. Um, this basically controls what stays um, what what they want to keep the same, what's the reference point. So if we have the middle selected, the pixels in the middle of the selection aren't going to move. They're going to stay locked. So what we want to do is press this, the bottom, so that the bottom's locked because we don't want the neck or like the shirts, the shirt line to move, but we want more the middle of the image and the top of the image to be transformed. So now when we move it, the middle will change and the double chin will start to um, scrunch up. And that's what we want because we want to minimize that double chin and we want to add more of a defined chin line. So we just want to define her her chin line and make it look like that double chin is going away. So what you do, you just keep dragging it up until that double chin starts to shrink. And as you can see, it's already starting to shrink a lot Just trying to push it up alright so that's working out pretty good just keep messing with it um, you don't want this to happen you see right here how the neck is starting to come out of the neckline that's something that you want to try to avoid um, you can blend it later if you wanted to, but it's just something that's a pain to deal with. All right, and we don't, you never want to overdo, um, never want to overdo the, the chin and make it look fake. You just want to blend it in, uh, make the, the double chin less noticeable. So that's looking pretty good. That was the, that's the before. I mean, that's that's the before and that's the after. So as you can see, the double chin was minimized tremendously. So what you want to do now is we are going to make a over. I mean, a, a mask over this layer two with the just the chin selected. So what we're going to do is basically paint back what we want on the chin. So we're basically making our chin line right now. So we're just painting back little pixels to make it blend a little bit better. And to compensate for what double chin was left in our image. 
Well, I put one a little bit too much. Command Z will take you back one step. And as you can see, it's starting to look a lot better. That was the before, that's the after. The double chin is is tremendously minimized and the image actually is usable. Um, as you can see, there's a little line right here. Um, that's from the pulling of the image and changing the pixels. Um, if you want to fix that, all you have to do is we're going to go back to the original image and we are going to go to the um, healing brush tool. Um, so if you press command, I mean alt or option and select one of the, Im the images that look similar in color to the area you're trying to transform. So I'm going to tap on that. That's going to make this basically blend into the into the color that I want. So it's basically taking the reference point at the bottom and it's just blending that black spot. So as you can see, if I make it bigger, it's just basically the reference point of the brush. We don't want it that big though. Now it's blending. And just for right now, I mean, that's okay. I, I could have did a little bit better at blending it, but as you can see, that's how you take away double chins. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter and connect with me, it's Brandon J. Stinson. And feel free to message me or leave comments for any videos that you want to see uh, for a Photoshop tutorial because I'm always happy to help. So have a great day, guys, and talk to you later. Bye.